Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today for today's blab. My name is Desiree Savory and I've got Jay Garrett here with me. We are working together on our sharing your real estate business on blab. Uh, we are going to be talking about things that influence you in the real estate business, specifically things that deal around how technology can support, can support you in your business. Um, my name again is Desiree Savory. I'm a technology and accountability coach, and I work with uh, verticals in the small business arena and also in the real estate business. And here is Jay. Jay, let's let's have them know more about who you are. Uh, thank you, Desi. My name is Jay Garrett, and I'm a licensed attorney, a mortgage broker in Austin, Texas. And uh, Desi and I actually have met here on Blab. This is a foundation um, through which we both believe uh, people can get to know you, can uh, be introduced to you, not only uh, just personally, but professionally as well. And in fact, Desi and I have met a couple of real uh, realtors up in Chicago that we plan on doing another blab, another informative process um, on Friday and just continue to push content and share all of our knowledge from my years in the real estate business um, as, a, as a lawyer and how uh, embracing this platform and other live media uh, is helping my mortgage business as well. So yeah. thank you for having me, Desi. Oh, no, it's a pleasure. It's, it's definitely a pleasure. This has been an excellent experience. So um, today we want to introduce you to this product. If you've never heard about Blab before, well, welcome. Uh, as you can see by just looking at the screen that uh, there's a lot going on here. Um, it's segmented and it's a growing product. At the top left-hand corner, you'll see that it says beta. So that just means that it's in the process of growing. Um, they are continually making changes to Blab. And um, the people that are on here are just so excited about growing with the product. Uh, it's, 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 got a, it's, it's got a huge following already. Blab has a huge following. But what my calling is, I feel as if, you know, I'm out here just talking about it a lot to people. I've got a lot of people that I know in a lot of different social media platforms. But um, what I really would like to do is to introduce the real estate community to Blab. And the reason why I find that to be a compelling thing for me is because of, okay, I live in Houston, all right? This is not one of these cities where you can just jump in your car and go 20 miles in 30 minutes. It just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. And, and, and because of, hey, Carrie, thanks for joining us. Oh my gosh, she's so busy. I'm so glad to see her here. Um, so with that in mind, you know, using a product like Blab, you have an opportunity to spread your wings. You're able to communicate with people literally anywhere in the world. And because you have, you know, the integration with Twitter, uh, and also have the integration with a, a Facebook platform, you can spread that information about whatever you have coming up in the future or whatever you decided to do um, without we want to talk about right away by just clicking a button in, as being a host, being able to have others that are like-minded with you uh, to, to share information. It's, there's nothing, I haven't found anything like it. Um, I, I have to say that um, Periscope hasn't ca caught me yet. I haven't, I'm not convinced. So maybe somebody can convince me that, um, Periscope is um, one of those tools that uh, is um, going to kind of make me feel as if I should be going in that direction, but uh, I, I, I'm not there yet. Um, I've, I've found, I'm, I'm, I'm addicted. I, I'm trying to, I went to Walgreens looking for a blab pill. I can't find one. Okay. So <laughs> what do you think, Jay? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm probably going to have to develop one because I was actually on blab. There's, there's such an incredible amount of knowledge and wisdom and information that's traveling through this, this uh, platform that um, I, I actually have to turn my computer off. Yeah. In the evening time so that I don't, I don't know, get thirsty in the middle of the night or 
come home from a real life event like I did last night and then sit down on Blab. But unfortunately, last night it wasn't turned off. I came in after my event mm -hmm. um, and I won't completely share what time I started, but I don't know, four or five hours later, it's two in the morning and I'm just consuming content because That's it's right. coming. It's coming at such a enjoyable and um, I guess consumable. Uh, the rate volume. Yeah. Rate. Exactly. Volume or rate that um, it's sticking because it's like having a conversation. I mean, you know, we're sitting here have basically having our meeting and I mean, not only am I getting to know you personally, but you're dropping nuggets. I mean, yesterday, how many times did I blow you away with some of the stuff that you didn't know? And you were like, oh, my gosh, that's incredible. Like, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. It's it's this. And that's the value. It's the whole idea of knowing that you're creating value with people that are like minded. You know, just like Carrie said, it's it's all about, you know, what do I want to know? It's addicting. Just, exactly. I I. I and you know, I am not gonna. I'm not gonna lie about this. I'll sit down and I'll be looking at the television and think, I'm not intrigued. Mm -hmm. I want to be intrigued. I'm going to blab. I'm going to find something there that I can choose that makes me intrigued. Okay. And all I need to do is sit down, and I end up. This is what happens. I end up going right back to the same group of people each time. Be, and then you, you you end up developing a relationship and then the magic happens. Things like this, where you end up meeting people like Jay and Carrie and Chinarut, and then you invite them to meet other people, you know, uh, you know, like Shannon and Joseph. And then you connect people that you know can benefit from others. And that's what's wonderful about the real estate community using a product like this is because you can connect people from wherever they are and it, you naturally attract um, like-minded people and you build a, a really supportive tribe of people together and use the platforms that can support it. The ones that you're using in a sustainable way, you know, and Absolutely. You don't need really to worry about what those third party platforms are because Blab is going to make that decision for you. Yeah, it's been I mean, it's been fabulous as far as making connections, as far as um, sharing content, finding out, um, you know, what people are doing in different areas of the country and world and things that I can apply in Texas that um, you know, impact my clients. I mean, I'm bringing, that's part of like being a lawyer or being a professional. Um, I'm almost internally charged to go out and gather knowledge and wisdom so that I can better represent my clients. That's correct. And this is, this is a, a great way to do it. I've found, you know, tricks and shortcuts and, uh, and just, you know, websites to go and look at things. I was like, golly, I've always wanted a website that told me this. And right. here that thing is hiding over here on the Internet. But there's there's so many things that are so noisy. Um, you know, this this is a way to have like we, we're having a conversation and we can talk about tools that you and I use that help us. And in fact, that's how I met you and Carrie and Marky. You got yeah. the three of y'all were having a blab. You put real estate over there in the topic. And I was like, let me go see what these ladies are talking about. And I was like. Holy mackerel. These are three people that I want to be that I want in my life. Yeah. And so I sat there and listened and then you guys invited me in and we came on and then I think we ran for two more hours because <laughs> it was like being, it was like meeting friends at the coffee shop and you haven't seen each other since last Christmas. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, we're just like, boom, 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 boom. See, there, it's just, this is a, a, a great way to, to, um, you know, share things and, um, and get to know people. And by the end of this hour, as we're sitting here on blab, everybody in the audience, whether they're watching on the replay or watching live today, we are, they're going to feel like they know who we are. Correct. And then also with the whole, the way the, the, uh, the,
technology is, is set up. If you want to be just a looky-loo, if you don't want to con uh, actually say anything, if you don't want to actually um, uh, ask any questions, and you want to know who is actually connected, who is actually joined in this Blab community at this particular time, look at the top center um, during the live Blab. You can't do this during the recording. But during the live Blab, you're able to look at the bubbles at the top center and hover your mouse and see who's connected. Now, what that has to do in regard to um, you as a person connecting to any blab is you need to take responsibility for what your profile says because you want to make sure that your reputation management is, is, is intact. So if how do you want to be presented on blab is also a very important component of what blab is all about. How do you want yourself to be you know, look, seen to the public? So if you are a realtor or a small business, and you decide that you want to use Blab as a way to integrate in your business, make sure that you are well represented on Blab, not only on Blab, but on all the other social networking platforms that you are using. So because once somebody decides that they want to follow you on Blab, uh, because Blab is going to connect with your Twitter account in, uh, at, uh, initially, they're then going to maybe want to do more uh, investigation about who you are um, by going into your LinkedIn account. They're probably going to go and look at other accounts that you have connected. So if you don't have that continuing uh, look or uh, information about what you have to offer, then there's going to be confusion. So you want to make sure that no matter where you are on the internet, you, you have that, that continuing uh, a representation, re your reputation management is 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 all put together. That's a very, very important component of using Blab. If you join a, a Blab and you leave a Blab, your footprint is still there. And that's also um, a very uh, important uh, aspect of using it. So you can jump into a Blab and leave a Blab, but there's a number that's indicated at the top left-hand corner as to how many people has, have been in the Blab and how many people are actually active in that Blab. And the uh, those that have current, are current in that Blab is, are able to go back and look at your profile. So again, it's very important that you leave a good footprint uh, when you're on Blab. Uh, so, you know, make sure you, you have all of your profiles set up properly with that. Anything you want to add to that, Jay? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, just any time that I mean, everybody hopefully knows and realizes that, you know, whatever you put on the Internet is going to live there forever. And your grandkids and your great grandkids are going to come back and they're going to see this. And um, not only are you representing uh, the brokerage or your clients or the firm or your family in here, but you know, you're representing yourself. And so you've always got to remember, um, you know, have, I guess, not only have, have a purpose, but in your mind, before you go online, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Snapchat, Blab, Periscope, you need to have an end game in mind. Have an end game in mind. One, how do you want your character um, portrayed? Uh, because this brand that is you on video online is, is, is what we sell. That's what we do in the real estate business. We're in a service industry. Um, so it's, you know, extremely important that you sit down and have an end game in mind and, and maybe in later blabs, um, Desi and I will share some more intimacy as far as our end game goes, but I know that we do want to talk about some other stuff, but you, you just want to recognize that, uh, or one thing that I wanted to share is that Blab, what's really cool about Blab is when we get finished with this, we're going to be given, we're, we're going to be given an email that's going to have the MP3 and the MP4 and the embed code. In fact, we've already got the embed code. That's right. But, but we, we have those links and we can repurpose those. We can put them on our YouTube channel. We can put them on our website. We can put them on, you know, just on a landing page. If we just want to have, um, I mean, you could have, you know, 
uh, Desi's blab landing page and she could put all of her blabs and you just go back and look at all of them. And then it's not necessarily that people are going to blab to see it, but they're going to a pic particular landing page that you decorate the way you want to, that you brand it the way you want to. And then you're able to use this recording here on, you know, another platform. So That's oh, yes, Carrie's like, say, yeah, you can do it on a blog. In fact, there are people that do podcasting. I mean, this is perfectly set up for podcasting and they podcast straight out of blab. So what I did is um, with this particular blab, after I created it, for example, for those of you who want to blog or are blogging now, I went into my WordPress blog and I took the code after I scheduled the blab and I set up the blab blog for delivery tomorrow. Oh, to my following. Cool. Yeah. So in other words, the blog itself is ready to go out to publish to those that are following my blog so that the embedded code is ready and it's ready to be announced that this blab has already been uh, has already been produced. So once we're done here, it's going to go ahead and uh, be put on YouTube and so that the code will be be active. Kara saying you can embed the code now on a landing page and watch it directly from the blog live. So it might be live right now. That's exactly right. If Yeah, if you put the embed code in there, it could be live on your landing page right now. That's correct. So you can you can actually set up a marketing strategy uh, for, mm -hmm. you know, your your business and, and tell people just like you can when you were doing Google Hangouts online that uh, they can go to your website to watch these blabs rather than coming to blab.im. Yeah, one of the things um, Chen is asking a, qu or a question, there is not an Android app. There's an, uh, there's the web platform that Desi and I are on today, and then there's an iPhone app. Uh, the way that you access Blab on your Android device is just through the Chrome browser. So they will work on the Android app after they basically after they come out of beta. So um, like Carrie saying, she's on Android right now using her Chrome browser. So uh, yes, there is Chen pointed out on the iPhone app, which I did not know this because I'm not an iPhone user, but on the web app, if you look in the far, the far right corner down in the bottom in the comments, there's a little slash button. If you click on that, it gives you all of the different, um, uh, tools. Uh, no, those aren't tools. What we call those commands, the commands all yeah. those commands that you can use that will um, <laughs> you know, use there in the, in the comments. So, Carrie says, what's an iPhone? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's great. So I, I went ahead and look for some statistics about the, how the, this product that uh, blab can actually affect your business. Um, and I know of course, I'm not all these numbers going to affect your business, but if you just look at the number of people that you have just on Facebook and Twitter guys, um, let me just kind of give you some numbers here. Twitter has um, 230 million users. So, you know, the fact that you're here, that means that you're either just getting started on Twitter or that you're, you know, you integrated your Twitter account, right? There's a 1 billion unique visits monthly on the site with embedded tweets and 80% of users on Twitter are mobile. So Blab, by the way, has a mobile app. Okay. And it just, it was just recently updated this, uh, this week. I just updated the app on my iPad this week. Um, I have to tell you guys, okay, so when I'm actually getting ready in the mornings, I, I go to Blab while I'm, while I'm getting ready in the mornings and listen to a Blab. <laughs> yes, I do that. So I'm taking this thing further than just sitting down and, you know, participating at a computer. I listen. Sometimes I'm not watching. I'll just listen to something that I find interesting and, and learn that way. Facebook stats, one, we have over 1.5 billion users now on Facebook 
and over 1 billion of those are daily active users. And do you think, let me ask you guys this question. Um, somebody tell me, what country do you think uses Facebook the most? Anybody want to put it down there in the message area? What country do you think uses Facebook the most? Actually, Canada. Canada uses Facebook the most, which was quite interesting to me. And over 20 minutes are spent on Facebook per day, which I thought that number was kind of low, um, but I was kind of surprised at that number. And 91% uh, of millennials use Facebook, which is between the ages of 15 and 34. 91%. I thought that number was lower. I was surprised to see that number. 27% uh, of drivers admit, what do you think they admit to? Using Facebook while they're driving. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I hope none of you are in that number. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's really funny um, on that. The stat that blows me away is 91% um, of millennials use Facebook, 15 to 34 year olds. I have a 15 year old and I have a 19 year old. And not only do they not utilize Facebook, but they almost abhor it. They, yeah, my son turned his off. He just, just turns his off at all. He don't even yeah. care. No, he's like, why would we be on Facebook? That's where old people are. Yeah. Do you remember when we when Black first came out, they had it called Share Ooh. with Your Aunt? Do That's you remember right. that? Yeah. So it when since Blab's always changing, and those of you that'll be on on Blab, yeah, Carrie says my kid says for old people too. Um, so the things that you'll see things change, they exactly. just, uh, they change on blab quite a bit. And one of the things is the tweet button over here in the post to Facebook. Um, it used to be the tweet button was a lot bigger and it was tell a little bird. And yes. so it said, tell a little bird still had the same color, still had the Twitter bird on there. And then when they finally perfected the post to Facebook, what it was is tell your aunt. So exactly. it was tell a little bird and tell your aunt. And we actually really liked it. It was a lot of fun for those of us that were on the platform because it was kind of a tongue in cheek kind of, you know, the reality is, is that how that's a lot of how the perception is for uh, Twitter and Facebook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, as this platform grows, just like we said a few minutes ago, Desi and I were talking about, um, it is very important that you recognize your, um, do you see that? calling in that's it okay yeah um it's very important that you recognize your professional image and how, what you're doing with your image and blab has done the same thing they were like okay well we were kind of cheeky we were kind of funny you know tell a little bird tell your aunt <laughs> and uh now we're gonna we're gonna kind of professionalize it a little bit so now it's just tweet and post hey there carrie how are you darling I'm good. I'm in my car. My husband is driving. And so he stepped out to get me a hamburger. So I thought I'd call in. So when Thank I just you. disappear. Yeah. I don't know why. Okay. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, already, like, you're blab. she's feeding her addiction. See, guys? <laughs> and when he, oh, when he, when he comes back, she'll leave and then she'll say, honey, I need something in Staples. Will you run in Staples and get this for me? <laughs> So I just thought I'd jump in to tell you that um, so I can't tweet. I can't share this on a droid. But as soon as I dialed in, I'm allowed to share this with all of my followers on Blab. So I'll do that. OK, great, great, great. Yeah, I don't have the controls, but I will take a picture and I'll share my um, screenshot with you later. So you guys can use this in a uh, blog post. Awesome. Chinnerup was saying a good reason to do, you know, a great thing to do is to listen to Blab as a podcast while driving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you can get a good signal, it's good. I've done it. I've, I've done it before, but it's, it would break up, you know, depending on where I am and then pop back in. How's yeah, your signal? So my, I'm doing, I'm stationary. He's in Meatheads. I've he never heard of meat that. Oh, we have a Meatheads here in Glen Ellen, Illinois and great hamburgers. Okay. Interesting. So, that's where it is. so anyway, I thought I'd jump in. I'm going to try to dial in as soon as I get to the office on a real computer. 
Okay, right. awesome. Thank yeah, you I'll so much, Karen. Thanks for joining us, Carrie. It's good to see you, sweetie. You too. We have to chat. I'm done with school today. Okay. Congratulations, too. Thank you. Thank Congratulations you. to that. Thank yeah. you. Well, I'll Carrie, talk to you later. I All right. right. I sent you an invitation to that uh, platform that we're going to communicate on. So um, on the email, I sent you an email. So you, you'll, okay. you'll need to watch for that. Marky already joined this morning. Okay, I'll have to go. I'll go do that now. I don't really start speaking until 1 or 1230. So I have an hour. <laughs> okay, well, if you can, but don't rush, you know, don't break your neck. Enjoy that burger, okay? Yeah, enjoy the burger. Yeah, I'll take a picture of that, too, and tweet, tweet that, oh, too. I like, yeah, I like to see what that looks like. There you go. Yeah, we'll right. talk soon. We got soon. kids' meals. He got a kids' meal, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm hanging up. All, All right, right, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, one of the things that I was just talking um, um to carry about in the there kick me the, out i can't kick myself out okay all right we got it okay um one of the things that we were talking about right now um desi and i are able to uh communicate on another channel over here on a platform called slack s-l-a-c-k and so we're able to keep in touch real time so yeah slack and so we're we're able to keep notes like these notes that I put over here in the questions. The only reason I typed them as questions was so I could put them right there on the screen for you guys to see. But um, that data, we have our production notes for the blab um, on this platform that allows us to speak to each other real time. Um, yes, there's an app for Slack and the app for Slack is amazing. 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 In fact, I like the app better than I like the web version. Um, <laughs> And you can go on there. You can um, add as many people to a group chat. It's real time. It, it's like Hangouts in such a way that you know what you have and haven't read. Um, you know who's online, but it's much more stable. Um, <laughs> the people that I've, the people in social media, the cutting edge of social media, um, hooked me up on this. And when I found it, I was like, this is the this is a cat's meow. And they said they use it for production on, on huge shows as well. It's not just um, for blabs. So now what's really nice about this. Oh, and I was talking to Jay about it. Yes. Yesterday for you guys, you know, realtors that are here, um, you know, Mr. Burton, Jesse Burton. Um, hey, Jess, thank you for joining us. Uh, appreciate you being here. Natalie, um, all of you, by the way, just to let you know, I want you guys to make sure to fill out your information on your profiles uh, for you there, Jess, uh, make sure you fill that out. I'm not calling you out, but I'm calling you out. Okay. Natalie, I want to make sure to fill, fill out your information. So I know where you are, all that type of information there, but listen, you know, what's really, really nice about Slack is that when we're having a conversation about a particular subject, like today, it's in its own folder. So everything is documented in its own folder. And I can, I can select that folder and and I can edit information in blocks. The other thing is that I'm able to uh, create another group uh, when I'm logging in, if I wanted to, um, to, to, to target another team. So for example, Jay and I are, are, are connected on Slack within one website address on Slack. If I wanted to create another one under my same email address, I could do that. Uh, and that would be targeted on another team. So maybe I want one for the family. I would be able to do that within the same. And the identity would be the email address. Mm -hmm. So when you're logging in, you're actually creating another team. But both teams are in silos. Okay. It, it would, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be crossing over on each other. And within each one of those teams, you have essentially folders that you would have different subjects that you can focus on. So it's, it's incredible what you can do with it. Um, and also you have, you know, you can add website links. You know, he shared a video with me. And when he did, the, the preview of the video showed up in the text. So, you know, I'm telling you, I was blown away yesterday by it. I, I was, I wanted to jump through the phone at him. I was like, Jay, <laughs> shut the front door here. This is awesome. Yo, Loving I, this. I wish you guys could have been on that phone call with me. <laughs> 
I wish I, I wish I could have had a recording. I was like, I wish I could back this up and this phone call was recorded because it was, it was, it was, it was, it was oh a my lot gosh. of fun. Goes, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> and then, and then it was quiet. I was like, are you okay? She goes, yeah, I'm here. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> try to process, try to process. I'm telling you. It, it, it's, it's really nice. So I can see so many opportunities for a program like this for team members and, you know, personal use, professional use, you, you, you know, it's very flexible. So I think you guys will enjoy, enjoy that. Um, let's see, what else did we have on this list here, Jay, that we wanted to make sure we covered? We're almost half through a uh, halfway through. Oh, so let me kind of give you an idea of some of the things that you can oh, be using, be using Blab for here. So for example, realtors, of uh, small businesses. Let's say, you know, you, you guys work with a lot of different types of people. You know, you've got, you know, people like Jay who are in the lending institution, right? Wouldn't it be nice? Like say, I'm here working with Jay. You get an opportunity to meet Jay. Who else do you know that you work with? You know, who else do you know that you could bring on, on a blab and have a conversation with? Like Shannon Mays is here. I, she, she does, she can say whatever she wants. But she's going to be blabbing with me one day. And she can see my face. I know she's laughing right now. <laughs> but she's going to get on with me one day. And she's going to talk to you about the things that she does. She's going to talk about Texas property tax. I want her to give you guys an idea of, you know, what it's like to be in her business. Okay. Um, you know, we can talk about so many different subjects and share information um, and, and, you know, bridge that gap giving the consumer an opportunity to know more about the people that support your business. Okay. You don't have to be set. You don't have to quote unquote, sell yourself to make people know who you are. Okay. What you want to do is get into an opportunity where people get to know you by just hearing you share information. And that lets your guard down. That lets their guard down. You get an opportunity to be more of who you are, be more authentic in your own skin, okay? And don't give me this excuse about, oh, I can't be in front of a camera. I don't want to hear that. I'm sorry, okay? You know why I don't want to hear it? Because you're not going to a front door with a bag over your head to introduce yourself. You're there. So let's get over that stuff. And start embracing technology for what it is. Because if you don't, you will not be in this business much longer. You, you, I, you, you, you're going to have to just deal with that. And what I want to say is like this conversation we're having right here, Blab, Blab is so easy to get on camera and have a conversation because it's just two friends talking. You can, you can go into a Blab if you want to practice, go into a lab that you don't know anybody. And so you just want to come on camera and, and, and meet somebody new and you don't have anything to lose. You're like, they're like, who's Jay Garrett? Oh, you know, I mean, they're in a, could be in another country. I, I sat in a lab the other day down in Australia. It was three people that were having a, a wine Wednesday and, you know, it was their afternoon. It was my morning or, late night or whenever it was. And I just, you know, popped in and say, I want to meet some Australian friends. And you know, right. now I'm, I'm comfortable on the camera, but you could very well do that if you've never been on camera. And you know, what, what does that cost me? I mean, it, it's not exposed me to anything. All it's just allowed me to practice. Um, and that, and you know what, if you want to use Periscope in your business and you haven't figured out, how you want to use Periscope, then come to Blab and have a conversation because you will be a much better Periscoper or Meerkatter if you come on this and get comfortable having a conversation. Because I'm sitting here, I'm just looking at Desi and we're having a, t a conversation. It's not any different than those that use FaceTime or Skype. Um, I Skype with my, I used to Skype with my sister in Africa and because um, none of us are iPhone, you know, uh, are iPhone users. But, um, you know, we Skyped for a long time. And then when I found, you know, other resources like Blab, 
you're like, wow, you can do this across the world and it doesn't cost you those Skype charges. I can get on a, on a video call with her. I can see her and her and my eight nieces and nephews and we can, you know, it's, it's like they're around the corner. I mean, they could be there in, in Houston with Desi or they can be in Nampula. Right. Exactly. So, you know, and, and the thing is, uh, you know, you can host interviews, you can have discussions, you do the live audiences, you can host after shows, you know, after a particular something comes on and you know, it's going to, and an event is happening. You can have a show after that and discuss it. Um, you can upload your videos on YouTube. You can record the podcasts. Um, get creative, guys. It, 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 it think outside of the box as to what you can do with this with this product. The best part about it is, once if you plan it effectively, you can record it and have it and use it later. Sometimes I've noticed that in a blab, um, the subject changes, and when the subject changes, you can the host can make the change at the top left hand corner, change the subject and retweet it out to show that the subject has transitioned into something else. And with that, with that, um, you might get other people joining the blab. Okay. So it transitions, you have other people in that blab. And, but what you want to do is before you actually end the recording, make sure that you've changed the name of the blab back to what you want it to be before you upload that blab. So that's something that you need to keep in, in mind. And guys, those of you that are in here in the audience as guests, um, basically what that's what Blab calls the people in the audience are guests and Desi and I are the hosts. Um, so only the hosts are able to change the topic. So the, the guests cannot. So Jesse was asking a question, um, how old is Blab? Blab is about seven months old. It started in March. So, um, there, um, there's a way that you can tell how new a user is by going up to their, uh, their profile picture. Like if you click on my name, Jay Garrett, right there in the box, or you go up to my avatar in the top and click on that, you just click on my name. And what comes up is my profile page. And so you'll see all the blabs that I have that I've been involved in as a host. Um, through throughout that page. But the trick is not necessarily that if you take your mouse and you hover over my photograph on my profile page, it'll tell you how many days I've been on Blab. I've been on Blab 132 days. So that's how you can go in and actually see, you know, some more information about um, the, the person who's on Blab. On that same profile page, when you see the little Twitter bird, you click on that, it takes you directly to my, my Twitter link you know, my Twitter page. <clears throat> so you can, you can check on that. The, um, so it's been about seven months. The, the longest user has been on about, yeah, 70 days longer than me. I think they're up to, well, a little bit longer than that. They're yeah, they're up to, no, that's about right. So cause seven, 216, no, about 216, 217 days. Um, are the, the oldest users. Huh. Yeah. So, and, and let me tell you, uh, my Twitter uh, following has grown so much because of using Blab and the influence of not only the types of people that I get from my, my uh, connections with Blab, but what I've learned, what, how my business has changed in regard to the way I see things, the, the, just, just the people that I follow on Blab. Um, and that's another thing too. I don't just click on any Blab just to just go to Blab. If I don't see something that I'm interested in, I don't click on that Blab. I don't go into it because I don't want those particular people to go to my Twitter page. I, I treat it the same way I treat LinkedIn. You know, I want to be connected to like-minded people. That's the type of following. That's the type of influence I want, you know, and <laughs> Shannon, Shannon is a LinkedIn. She, she is, you know, she treats her LinkedIn like gold. And I agree with her 100% about that. Um, 
Um, an open house on Blab. So Chinarut, um, I'm, I want to see. About going in, yeah, going and doing an open house in a real house or. Let me see. Could, would Chinarut, would you be willing to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, if you just would click you come the, on up here, let Chinarut. Yeah. Shannon LinkedIn's my boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. Um, definitely LinkedIn. You need to, um, LinkedIn has gotten better and better and just want to let you know for sure on LinkedIn, um, there's a target there. There's an audience and there are, um, uh, potential customers and buyers that are on LinkedIn. That is, you know, that the average LinkedIn user, um, subscriber, whatever the ab average person there. Um, makes in excess of $100,000 a year. And that's a demographic that is, in, it's important to know. So Chin, thanks for coming on. <laughs> Hi, Jay. sweetheart. How are you? Good to see yeah, you. Good to, yeah, it's good to see you both. It's good to listen to you. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I was, I was reading that LA times article on the Sunday, last Sunday. And uh, I know I learned that they were using Periscope that way to literally allow people to, literally see a house and without even having to fly to Canada to go see it, yeah. to, to speed up the process, you know, and, and, and make an offer on the house before they even get there. Yes. And, yes. and so, um, yeah, I thought it, <laughs> I thought it might be interesting to use. I imagine because people are already doing uh, these virtual tours through Periscope that it would make sense that people would do virtual tours through Blab if they want to have some kind of open house. Yes. And, that way, anybody from around the world could go ahead and and talk about the, you know. I mean, I, I'm just imagine. I don't know if anybody's ever done it. I'm just imagine. Yeah, that um, I, we have one uh, one a realtor here. Um, Jesse, are you willing to talk about this a little bit? Um, are you are you are you uh, ready to talk about it? Because I know Jesse, he's a realtor and he uses Periscope. Yeah. And what I, and that's what I do. I've done Periscope. Of course, I'm not a realtor. I'm a mortgage broker, but here's something that I love doing and I will, I'll share my, my, um, you can, op you can take the seat. I just opened it up for you, Jesse. I will. Um, Oh, how, yeah. How to dial in It's I don't remember if Jesse's on mobile or the, you ought to just push that seat, just click on that open seat there. But I use Periscope. Oh, I'll share my catch page with you guys in a minute, uh -huh. but, what I like to do is go with my realtor and my realtor friends and basically be like, I'm a buyer and I'm walking with them in the screen. And it's not the typical way that a realtor will show a house, you know, would do an open house. However, it is an opportunity to do two things. One, you're interviewing the realtor. Their personality is on the Periscope. So instead of, you holding your own phone and doing the Periscope, you know, here I am or flipping the camera back and forth or whatever and doing it yourself. You're actually, I can follow the realtor around and it gives a great perspective of how, you know, how big the house is, how big the kitchen is, how, you know, you, you pay, you know, hundreds and thousands of dollars to have professional videos and professional pictures and you're going to market it. And those pictures have value. I mean, and I'm not saying they don't, you definitely want to utilize those because people want to know that they're getting, um, a, you know, a beautiful home. However, sometimes those photographs of the kitchen that are in the corner of the counter where you're never going to be standing or sitting show the kitchen and it looks like you can fit 30 people in there because they've got the fisheye lens or the wide angle lens on the camera so that you can see everything. And then you get there and you're disappointed when you can only fit five people in this kitchen instead of 30. So what Periscope allows you to do is to walk through the house and to see, oh my gosh, okay, so here it is. This is, you know, it takes five steps to get from the front of the kitchen you know, one side of the kitchen to the other side or from the front of the bathroom to the back of the bathroom. And so it gives you good perspective and it's like this, it's real. And when I'm walking behind a realtor and the realtor showing me things, the realtor is on the pedestal. They're on the show. 
So not only am I advertising, are we showing the house, but we're showing the realtor. It's marketing two things at one time. And that's what you have to do as a realtor. You're marketing yourself as well. Now, I guess the question is, is uh, would that work here on Blab or? Um, it will with on in two circumstances. If you've got really good Wi-Fi or when 5G comes out, I think. Or, the, or I think the question is, is uh, uh, what? Because <laughs> Blab adds the kind of the conversation between multiple people element. Uh, with to love the picture, it. yeah, to the picture where Periscope is really like the agent, really kind of um, broadcasting. You know, here's what Absolutely. the house looks like. You know, and kind of answering to a chat. But uh, do you think uh, potential people buying a house who want to join a lab to actually converse with the realtor? You know, and would that be too intimate? You know, because it would certainly be multiple buyers. It's, it'd be like multiple people showing up at a house wanting to buy it. Well, well you, you know, actually, can y'all see me? Yes, Jesse, uh, yeah, go we ahead. can see you. We have a little bit more light, but I can see Hi, you. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> okay, how you doing? Let me see. Good. If you turn around the other way. Oh, there you oh, go. Yeah, we can bad. see you that's now. Good. Yeah. Okay, perfect. What I did um, a couple weeks ago, I had a open house event that actually went over well, and I didn't think about using my Periscope app until midway through the um, through the event. And so, uh, one other tool I want to actually mention was uh, if you were if you were to hashtag uh, catch on your Periscope app, it would actually record it and you can actually go back and, and um, replay it. So- What is it called? Well, and- It's called, it's called Catch. Catch. K-A-K-A, it's Catch.me, K-A-T-C-H. However, you don't have to hashtag it once you have a Catch account. Right. Now, see, here once you, you go a, again. <laughs> well, <laughs> Desi, we haven't, we haven't converted you to a Periscope user yet, sweetheart. So if, if <laughs> you convert it over to Periscope, then we'll we'll be telling you the Periscope tools. Okay, but that's ex- so g- go ahead, Jesse. Tell us more how that third, works. Third by putting the the cart before the horse, uh, the horse before the cart. Actually, <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, what, be careful what you call my friend Desi. Oh, oh. <laughs> my friend, I, I have to say, my friend. I'm gonna have to bump him out. <laughs> <laughs> But but no, it's actually um, it was a, a great so- a tool to actually have at a at an open house event. Um, one thing you could do is is actually once your your audience tend to dial down around you at the event, you can actually go back in and invite your um, your followers um, and actually give them a tour of the home and and able to go back and, and answer mm-hmm. their questions right as they uh, are actually. Um, connecting with you and, and actually um, communicating with you. It's a great tool to have. And uh, I'm just glad to be a, a part. Of it. I'm glad to learn about Blab now. So <laughs> there, I, there's yeah. some other things I'm getting ready to do, actually, and that this is going to be perfect to um, integrate that with. I'm actually going to have to mention this to my partner, um, who's an actual physician. And we're getting ready to start doing some um, heavy media, social media uh, activity here to um, – not just Houston, but around the United States and uh, around the world, actually. Uh, oh, Jesse, we, that's we, fantastic. Yeah, so we're going to be reaching out to to doctors that are relocating here. Oh, nice. That's so so I guess what I'm hearing, Jess, is that uh, you could probably convert some of your Periscope followers into a more kind of intimate interaction, you know, over Correct. Blab, you Correct. know, and actually continue mm-hmm. the tour and and it's like you see the person's face, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you start doing it. webinars, actually, I found out found out that some of your your home buying seminars are actually kind of, you know, becoming obsolete. And so doing webinars is is going to be very powerful, to where you can actually go back and catch those who will not even always come out to your uh, location. Hmm. Absolutely. There's a book called Screen to Screen that you should prop you should look at by hmm. Dimitri. Uh, you should look for that book. And it talks about the uh, about how webinars are are becoming so much more important in our industry today. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So what Jesse's been talking about, and what I want to make sure that everybody understands is, first of all, Shannon, you're not behind. Do not think you're behind. You are on the cutting edge. You are on the cutting edge right here, being in Blab and being on Periscope. Absolutely. I want everybody to. I mean. 
everybody to understand that Periscope is a broadcast. When you're using Periscope, for those, I mean, maybe some of you don't even know what Periscope is. Periscope is an app that makes, whoa, sorry. I'm getting phone calls. <laughs> so, I better not show that, better not show that, uh, that phone number. But um, so basically, so basically Periscope gives you a camera and a television station in your phone. And so what you're able to do, to do is go out and video and audio and you broadcast it out to the ether. <laughs> I mean, it's a Twitter to your Periscope followers mm -hmm. and Periscope holds on to that for 24 hours. And there's some great statistics. If those, if you want to learn more about Periscope, we may have a, a Periscope for real estate blab later. Um, we wanted to introduce y'all to blab right now, but we may have to do another blab if you want us to, and we will talk about Periscope and how to utilize Periscope. That sounds wonderful, but, Jay. Yeah, put that in our notes over there, Desi, while I, I'm I up on my soapbox. So the broadcast, what you're doing is you're broadcasting the information that you want to share. I do things, I've posted over there in the comments, um, I've posted my catch site. So you go to catch.me slash moto jt and you see everything i've got i've got music the most recent one was my son had his wisdom teeth out and um he wanted me to periscope oddly enough for his friends um he wanted me to periscope how he was when he was high what? on the coming down on, yes and he was funny so you'll get a <laughs> so if you want to if you want to see a kid that just had his wisdom teeth out it's really funny but you can go through there and you can see some open houses or whatever but i share mortgage tips as well so you know home buying tips uh you know why why Got buy it. why rent that kind of stuff and i do that on periscope as well so um you you can have those on on catch and the catch.me you could go over there and look at that it will capture the, your periscopes and keep them forever. So those are, you know, those are held on to. At this point in time, Shannon, you're so new to this platform that catch is not monetizing. There's there's no it's there's no charge. There's no fee. Blab, there's no fee. Periscope, there's no fee. All of this stuff is free right now. We can't guarantee that it's going to be free. Desi and I were just talking about some friends of ours yesterday who their business was so reliant on Facebook and Facebook groups and Facebook communications that when Facebook started charging and shutting down those connections to their followers and charging for that so that Facebook could monetize that, it's driving businesses out of business, bankrupt. I've got a friend that had a company that had a valuation of $60 million dollars and the valuation of that company now is less than five because they were so connected to Facebook. So right now you get on these um, and we can't promise you that, you know, these other, these platforms are not going to start charging it sometime. But you the, you're on Blab is in beta form. You're on the cutting edge. Periscope, the same thing. Hmm. Um, there's a real um, I know that. Apple named Periscope as the number one app for 2015. Uh, if those of you that haven't haven't seen that or read that, but Periscope was the number one app of all the apps that um, Apple produced. And so are that, you know, that Apple uh, sold or downloaded or whatever. The and, and, and Jay, I, I think I think you make a good I don't mean to interrupt, but I, I think you make a good point there in regards to just being a, a early adopter and really coming onto platforms like Blab, you know, which are very functional and actually serve, you know, a, a very good purpose. And a lot of times you can, uh, Shannon, you can, you can ride the wave, you know, and, and by, by, by being an early adopter of all these tools, uh, you, you, you get to use things for free. <laughs> and what's know, really important to do too, you know, Chenner, is to look at, like, for example, if you're using a particular app, any app, you, you, you hear the word free and then we capitalize on that freeness of the app, not realizing, you know, deep down in our hearts, we know, okay, the, all these companies have to make money. So yeah. we don't go in and start using those pieces of those tools. Um, you know, like, for example, 
you know, you're an EBCC just like I am. We both work, um, you know, with people trying to build businesses and, you know, using specific tools, you know, in Evernote. Well, um, I can't always promote just the free component of that tool. You know, there are things that they have to understand as business owners that if you're trying to build a business, you got to think a bit as a business with tools that work in the business world that are not free. Because businesses need money to run too, okay? They're not mm-hmm. out here just giving away free stuff. And to sustain themselves, they probably would have to pull away from free things and elevate them into the paid component of their business in order to stay in business. And uh, with that in mind, um, you know, when you have a business plan, you can't build it around the free things. You have to build it around... Uh, a budget where you you have a budget to pay for what you need to sustain your business. So, um, well, and, and, and so- I look at the technologies that you're using to see, you know, to th- have some foresight about, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket either. Right. Yes. And, I, and so I wanted to just, you know, let people know, I mean, you know, the kind of the point was, is there's not any cost to a lot of this stuff that we're utilizing right now. And so to assure Shannon and everybody else in the room and everybody that watches the recording that um, you're we're all this still early adoption here. I mean, lit, Periscope has literally only been around since early February. I mean, uh, late February. I mean, that's it, it basically came out. You know, it's the 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 first million downloads were in a, in a 10 day span. And I think it was the end of February and the first of March. Um, so that app is not even Jesse. Thanks for coming in. That app is not even a year old. And when you think about Periscope, like I said, it's a broadcast one way. And you want to engage your community. They're watching you like you, like we have historically, we're going to say like our parents used to watch TV. They're watching <laughs> you on broad on your broadcast, but blab is bringing them to a conversation. So you meet somebody, somebody's following you. You can then invite them over to blab and then you can have a conversation instead of just broadcasting and telling people stuff then you can get feedback from your community. You can get feedback from your viewers. And it's, that's where the engagement happens. You, you know, you're kind of, you're, you're fishing with the, the Periscope broadcast, but then when you get them here, then you're allowing them to, to communicate and, and um, connect with you on a level that people can't on Periscope. Well, um, and, so and that- I- and, I, and in the interest of time, I just wanted to tell you guys, you know, I know that some of you have to go. We're, we're going to be wrapping up in just a second. Um, we do have notes here uh, from uh, what we wanted to talk about, what we plan to talk about. If you, any of you need to have any of these notes, um, Jay and I will be happy to provide those notes to you. We'll put it in a little of a format here and get it to you. Just make sure that you connect with uh, Jay at thelendinglawyer.com. You can connect with me. Um, you can use um, my uh, my uh, Twitter account and send me a message, or if you're directly connected with me, and also with Jay, uh, either one of us will be happy to send you the notes from what we had planned to uh, cover today. We've covered most of it. There's a few of the things that we have not uh, shared with you as of yet. Uh, so if you'd like to get that information, you can go to at m o t o j t which is Jay's Twitter user name. And also mine is at D-E-S-I-R-E-E-S-A-V-O-R-Y. I'm spelling these out because we don't know if you're connecting with us when you're listening to this recording by looking at a screen or listening. So we're making sure that we're providing this information to you in both ways. Um, we want to thank you guys for coming by and listening to our blab today. Um, we want to thank those of you who have actually joined us on our live blab. And uh, we're going to be back. This is a first of many that we're going to be having. Jay, what do you have to say today? Oh, I just want to thank everybody for taking time out to one, you know, sit and participate, to listen. You know, thank you to uh, Chen and, and Jesse that came on screen. And um, 
uh, you know, took another step at building community. Uh, I just, I really think that uh, Blab is a, is, a, is a beautiful platform and it's going to be well embraced. I think there's um, opportunities to do open houses, to do home shows on Blab. Um, the, the platform is getting stronger and stronger. The audio quality is wonderful. The video quality is excellent as far as the replays, the recording. So, you know, get on. I encourage you to take time. Be careful when you do it because it'll it'll eat up some time once you get in. But take time and, and see some of the content that's on Blab. Uh, there's a lot of content. Uh, you can select what kind of stuff that you get notifications on. You can set your notifications to go on so that, you know, uh, you know, like I know when Desi schedules something, every time she schedules a blab, I get a notification that she's scheduled a blab. So if I'm on my computer, I can go over there and I can see if it's something that I want to subscribe to. You subscribe to it. And here's here's another little trick people don't know about blab. If you subscribe to something that sounds good and you don't get to see it, like today was, you know, we did this at 11 central, you know, I've got several realtors that wanted to be here, but they're at an award ceremony downtown. And I was like, you know what? It's okay. That link will still work. That link will bring you to this blab, the recorded blab, and it will stay on our page. And this, the same thing is once you go through the blab index page, you can click on live to see what's going live. You can click on scheduled and you can move forward and you can say, oh, look, today at three o'clock, um, somebody's having a real estate blab that I want to hear about. Or somebody's talking about uh, Facebook ads. So I want to subscribe to that. And then you forget about it or you don't miss it. Well, you'll get an email in your email box that lets you know that that blab is ready to be replayed. And you can go back and, and replay it and watch it anytime. Jay, another thing, too, that you reminded me of yesterday, last night, was that you can ping people before the blab. So, you know, this is something that we should have mentioned earlier, is when you're scheduling a blab, if you've got specific people that you'd like to invite, like if I wanted Chinarut to know last night that this blab was coming up, before the blab, I could open up that scheduled blab, and in the message center, right at the bottom right-hand corner, and send a message, I could put your, your handle. Uh -huh. I could just send that to you and it would it would notify you of this blab before the blab even starts. You can add notes to the blab. You can even add questions before the blab starts. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could start the conversation before the blab. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So Yeah, um, and and as you develop a show, I mean as you develop if, you know, say Desi and I we're going to meet with Carrie and Marky on Friday or we're going to have another blab. In fact, let me show you how how we're going to how we're going to do this but you can you can have a regular production where you are um you know setting up pre-show notes you can tell people hey uh tweet this out don't forget to tell your facebook followers here's the type here are some of the seven questions that we're going to try to cover the seven topics or whatever so um it's you know it's as much as you want to do you can do yep so we, we want to make sure you guys are aware that, um, you know, if you're, if you, this is as, as a live event, we do have another blab uh, coming up. It's going to be on the 18th, which is this Friday. And for those of you who are going to be listening to this on a recording, you can look for the other blab that we have coming up. And it's all about technologies that we're going to be using in 2016. So watch for that. You can actually do a, a search for the blab on um, the account. You can actually search for it by keywords. So we look forward to um, hearing from y'all and you can find us on Twitter and you can also fi find us on your Blab account, which will have the same username, blab.im slash your username that you signed up with Twitter. Thank you all very much for joining us here on this uh, Blab event. And we look forward to hearing from you or seeing you online again. Thank you all and have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye.